all audio signals vary in level. If we capture an audio signal and plot the waveform, we can easily see that there are peaks and valleys in the signal. The loudest sound will be represented by the highest peak in the signal, while the lowest will be the deepest valley. The difference between the loudest and the softest sound in the sound wave is the dynamic range of that signal. Sound systems also have a dynamic range, but it's defined a bit differently. On one side, all electronic devices have a self-noise or thermal noise that is caused by the electronic components in that device. This self-noise establishes the noise floor of each component in the sound system. On the other side, all electronic devices have a maximum or clipping level. This is established by the limitation of the circuitry or power supply of such equipment. The difference between the clipping level and the noise floor is the dynamic range of that particular device. When we pass an audio signal through a sound system, we have new ratios that define where is that signal in relation to the system limitations. On the lower side, the difference between the lowest level of the signal and the system component's noise floor defines the signal-to-noise ratio. For a good sounding system, we need to ensure that signal-to-noise ratio is as big as possible. On the other side, the difference between the clipping level of the sound system and the loudest sound in our signal is the headroom. For a good sounding system, we need to ensure that we have sufficient headroom to handle the loudest possible sounds. All sound system components have an operating or nominal level. The operating level or nominal level is the level at which each component is designed to operate. In professional grade audio gear, this level is plus 4 dBU, while on consumer level devices, the nominal level is usually minus 10 dBV. It's important to note that an individual sound system component may specify the noise floor or the signal to noise ratio. If they specify the signal to noise ratio, it is usually referenced to the nominal output level. In other words, it's the difference between the operating level and the component self noise level.